this is a connection between those pin here try to read the pin where it say connect it and then connect it to the place that's supposed to be also the obd2 connector which is through here is the same just connector obd2 try to get those wire longer so you don't need to get any trouble because you need to turn it upside down so try to make a longer wires and use your solder machine to solder those wires take your time and learn it is not hard so here we have to put power ground power ground you see in this left side power ground can high can low okay in this side here you see it already be sure that you see here the shorter the wire is not good so here is the wires you can zoom it take a picture and see where they go like where exactly to solder now every, all the solder is good you're gonna come to your system go to emo click ok be sure that you have power here through this wire be sure to put the power here if you don't put it also it doesn't matter so I'm gonna go to Audi and then I go to expert mode you see E M O V I believe this one here Now, is this one for A4, A5, Q5, A6, A7, O8? It depends what car you have. So, A4, A5, Q5. I will click on it. Now, I will go to Emo Data Reading. So, read Emo Data. This one, it, it will tell you that if you are communicating with this piece. So, I'm going to click OK. Be sure you have power here already. Be sure ignition is on and all this information. It said no communication. Okay. Read emo data. It said no communication. Okay. What I'm going to do is I will take this one out. Put it back. I'll turn the light here off. Turn it on. Just consider you connected together new. Now we're going to go back again. Is that the one? No, you don't need to read emo data. No, you're going to remove data via, you're going to hear because you do it differently. Okay, you're going to come through here. It will tell you what problems and be careful. Now, you need to know the vehicle. If, if the connection is good, you will be able to communicate. You see here, start making communication. This is like OBD2. This one here is connected directly USB and this one to the OBD. And here we use only four wires, ground power. You see here, say no communication. Mm. Try to read again. If it's not reading, that means there is a problem. Communication here is good. Here, all the communication is okay. Here, also, everything looks good. I take this information, like turn the key on and off. I will come back again. I want to be sure that I have vehicle identification. Yes, I read the information. Okay. You see, this is a VIN number. Everything is read. That means it's good. Now, what you're going to go, you have to go to read emo data through here. Connection, I will show you. You see, you have to have a diode. Diode is very simple for the second number, VPP2. If you go there, you're going to see the VP2. You can read it. You see here, VPP2, this one. You need a diode I put a diode here and you can buy those diodes from the store electronic store I buy two I put two one here and one there you connect the, the diagram look at it correctly and the bottom one is here which is this one so
So now I go back. I go, I'll say OK. Now I need to read, which is here. Now you're going to stay like this. It will ask you to disconnect this one here. OK, see? P1. Disconnect it, which is here. You see here? P1. Take it out this way. The last one here. Take it out and then go OK. It's going to read it. You're going to wait. Please subscribe, share, and like. <clears throat> what we need, we need um, CS code just like on BMW uh, ISN number. Now I gotta put it back, this thing. So, okay, now you say put it back. So I'm gonna go, slowly put it back. So I put that connector back. This connector you have to do it maybe four or five times. Three, four times, yes. So now it's reading. Last time I tried to do it, I misplaced the pins. Left, right, right, left. Now it's reading the data, please wait. Okay. You read the data, say yes. Now here is where it, where the data is gonna calculate now. Sometimes it takes more than next data will be written. Don't move anything. Three to five minutes. So you're gonna leave it three to five minutes. I'm gonna stop the video. Okay now uh, you read it in five minutes. He said that we have to disconnect this piece again disconnect it as usual now I'm gonna click OK so this is a whole system it's very simple take your time and do it the right way and you will have the CS coding CS number why the CS when you go you connect this machine the the, the BCM2 back into the car and you communicating with the OBD2 is the internet it will read you prepare the key it will ask you to to uh, to put the CS number. You're gonna take a picture of it and then put it in. Okay, see now here, you say, please put it back. This is the only thing that you're gonna have trouble with all the time. Okay. Last time when I'm doing it, I switched those two wires and I'm not able to read it. Okay. It's going on. Now, maybe from here connect it to programmer yes this is the c cs code the VIN number is there the c code this is a false number so you say okay now function execution complete reset the module install it into the vehicle and check if the vehicle is normal condition yes so i say okay escape that's it. I don't have nothing to do now. I just want to know if I can disconnect this. This like ignition on and off. You're going to see the light here. Okay. What do you need to do? Mm. Read Emo data. No, not here. I suppose to say no. Say okay. Okay, go here first. Say okay. Here, identify the car. Try to identify the car here. Yes, I want to know if the car is available or am I able to communicate. No power here, you see. That's my problem. Yeah, now I have power. 
Be sure you hop out here all the time. I'm gonna try one more. Kick in. Maybe there's a problem, but always try to when you finish try to reset the system stay a little bit or go out and come back I don't hear the noise teeth This is just reading, but you should be able to read the information here. So if I say safe, here is the car information, so everything is okay. What I'm gonna do is I will disorder those. I'm gonna use my tool here. Turn this on. Okay, let it come on for this. Yeah. Now I'm gonna disorder my wires and everything is good. Take this one out. Take this one out. You can take them from here. Now I'm going to keep those in one place in the future for only one car, but I need it longer. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share and like. This is Muhammad Harun Idris.